blessings, blessings and greetings, blessed souls, we're alive because we want to stay alive in Torah Chaim, Torah Chesed, instructions of life and kindness, Torah Tarachim, instructions of mercies. We're several hours before Chag Matzos, Zman Cheiroseno, the festival of Matzos, the time of our freedom. And with that being said, I'd like to pluck out some inspirations from a Hasidic discourse that was delivered by the Lubavitcher Rebbe in 1968, corresponding to the Hebrew calendar year of Tavshin Kavches, 5728, 5720 years blazing and grazing into the creation since the inception of original man, woman, Adam and Chava, Adam and Eve. So the Rebbe asked us to consider the essence of the festival of Passover, of Pesach, and the essence of that crackery substance made of just flour and water and baked with an 18 minute span called matzah and understand that in the process of eating the matzah we are participating in the expansion of our cognitive awareness in a manner that is described by Rav Yitzhak Luria, Ari Kodesh, the Holy Ari from Tzfat who lived in the 16th century who described matzah as an expression especially when we eat it the night of the Seder Passover holiday meal is an expression of moichen de katnus, expansion of the cognitive experience of the human being ingesting the matzah, but in a very contracted form. And with that being said, it is not sufficient that we cognitively expand our minds. There has to be a purpose, a, 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 a means of cause and effect implementation where the mind, which is getting expanded, even in a contracted form, must pass that consciousness down to what is known as the Metzah Garom, the constriction of the throat, spiritually speaking, and also anatomically correct, in order that that energy, that human soul energy, which has been codified by expansion of consciousness, should pass through the Metzah Garom and enter into the Mishkan of Midos, the Mishkan Alev, the tabernacle of one human being's emotional capacities within the tabernacle of their heart. It's not an easy process. And especially that we are still languishing in exile, not only the children of Israel, but also all the inhabitants of the world. Is Pesach is a time for us to recalibrate ourselves, to realize that it's a time to expand, expand our minds. Whether we're ingesting the matzah, whether we're talking about the matters of Pesach, Passover, the, the truly revolutionary experience of a nation leaving a nation without having to fire a gunshot. Something that unfortunately most revolutionaries in this current bloody era don't want to learn about, are not interested in learning about, but if they learned about it, perhaps they could hopefully internalize, as Rabbi Nachman of Breslov taught, you don't have to fire a gun to bring the redemption. But with that being said, there's also the human being's experience of processing this cognitive awareness through their blessed soul garment of Machashava of thought. It's not an easy process to give birth to a new emotion in the heart, blessed souls, but we can do it because we were designed that way. And perhaps the one way we can hopefully access this experience in a more tangible fashion is to consider that most of us, if not all of us, and I speak of myself before anyone else, we are poverty stricken. stricken. We don't have enough knowledge of Torah. Therefore, hopefully, the little that we've ingested, we've learned, we've become aware of, we've been taught, has been shared with us, will hopefully serve as a means of inspiring us to want to learn more Torah in the revealed dimensions of the Torah and in the inner dimensions, according to Torah Shepik Sav, the written Torah and Torah Shabbat Peh, the oral Torah tradition. And all this hopefully will transpire in a manner of dark and norm, of a pleasant way, dark and shom, in a peaceful way. And we should see speed in our days that accessing cognitive awareness of Torah, whether it be, again, be ingesting the matzah, which is a physical mitzvah, or the learning of Torah, which is a cognitive experience, passing it through the metzah garon, the constriction of the throat, anatomically and spiritually, into the mishkan alev, the tabernacle of the heart, we'll have a much better chance of doing so. Of course, when we have the gula mitzah the true and complete redemption, this will be accessible to any human being who wants to access this type of positive, life-affirming experience. But we human beings were designed by Creator to expand 
every day of our lives, whether it be from our own doing or from those around us, whether it be from our parents, from our the beginning of our experience here on this blessed earth until our very last breath, we are here to expand and to grow. And at times it seems to grow as harder than others, but grow we must. And the Pesach Seder is reminding us that every human being, whether Jew or Gentile, we can expand. Whether we eat the physical matzah or we take in this whole idea of the spiritual matzah, which is a form of sustenance which is to the exclusion of our human ego not to say our ego is wrong or evil but our egos have to be sublimated towards a higher course of consciousness which we humble want to, we humbly want to remind everyone as members of the nation of Israel is accessible and doable implementable through the learning of Torah and the fulfillment of mitzvahs whether you're trying to keep the 613 as one of the members of the children of Israel or the seven no, I had commandments, universal commandments. But the good news is, blessed us for the nations of the world, Kobe Olam, is more than just seven. Seeking you shall find, and you'll realize Torah is meant for all human, man, and womankind. Laham Sheikh, to be continued, Ba'ofen of Ahabachad, one love, Gorlachad, one does to Kulano. Chag Sameach Pesach.